Hey friends, thanks so much for joining me. You know, in, in case you missed this past Sunday's message, I, I wanted to give you just a brief recap. And for more information, I hope you'll check out the whole sermon as I think that you'll find it helpful for winning the battles you and I face in life. You know, as I mentioned on Sunday, uh, the biggest battles that we face in life aren't physical at all. They're spiritual at their very core. This is why we need to engage in what we're calling modern warfare. You know, this, this past Sunday, we talked about the first part of the armor of God mentioned in Ephesians 6.14, which says this. It says, Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. Now, this verse strongly encourages us to stand firm with the truth. And the reason why truth is so important is that if you don't stand firm on the truth, you'll fall for anything. You know, Satan, our enemy, is, is masterful at decep uh, deception and distorting the truth. And that's why we said that the first key to victory in our spiritual battles is to spot the lie and seek the truth. Spot the lie and seek the truth. The reality is that every sin issue that, that you and I struggle with is, is because we believed a lie. Lies about sin, lies about yourself, and lies about God. Let me, let me give you some examples. Here's some lies about sin that you've been tempted to believe. You know, it won't hurt anyone. It's no big deal. Everybody does it, and no one will ever find out. How, how about lies about yourself that you've been tempted to believe? Like, you can never forgive those who've hurt you. Or, or you'll never be good enough. Or your past is too messed up to be forgiven. You're a failure. You're all alone. You have no purpose, no future, and no value. Or, or maybe the lies that you've been tempted to believe are about God. Lies like God doesn't love you or even care about you. Or, or you can't trust in a God who allows tragedy in life. Or maybe you've believed the lie that says it doesn't matter what you believe as long as you're sincere. Or that God is distant and unreachable. Or, or that God doesn't want to hear from you right now. You see, if we want to have victory in the biggest battles in life, we've got to learn to spot the lie and seek the truth. Because if you don't stand firm on the truth, you'll fall for anything.